other fish. We're going to talk about the single most controversial issue facing aquarium keeping today. In a nutshell, is there oxygen in the substrate? Well, the answer, of course, is that it depends upon the substrate. If your substrate is gravel, yeah, there is oxygen in the gravel. If you have an under gravel filter, there most certainly is oxygen in your gravel. If you have a sand filter, there is enough water flow going through sand to be able to bring oxygen, generally speaking, to the deepest layers of that sand. Three to four inches would not be an issue. Where else is there oxygen in an aquarium? Well, if you have a father fish deep substrate, that means you have an inch or more of soil, whatever the mixture is, on the very bottom, capped with a minimum of two inches of sand. What does science tell us about that kind of configuration? Let's look at a pond. Now, I understand perfectly clearly that ponds are by and large deeper than fish tanks. I will give you that all day long. However, the principles remain the same. A pond most typically does not have sand in the bottom. Now, if it is an ancient lake, a river, nearly every stream or creek has sand. Capped or capping dirt. We cap our dirt in order to keep the dirt out of the water. And we do dirt in our tanks because it provides a, not only a maximum of nutrition, it creates an environment in which that nutrition can be recycled. So we create what we refer to as a natural aquarium. The sand on the top acts as a barrier preventing the soil from getting up into the water column and it also acts as a precipitator. It acts as a vehicle for detritus, malm, to precipitate down into the sand, through the sand, and into the dirt. Very well. That's the system. Where is the oxygen in that system? As I started to say, a few minutes ago, the science tells us that in a pond, oxygen permeates the top two millimeters or so. That's less than half an inch, about a third of an inch of the substrate. Beyond that, oxygen does not permeate the soil. Now, in our father fish systems, the principle is identical. Water does not flow with any kind of coursing action through the sand deeper than about an inch. Below that, it moves only at the pace of the cilia, the little hairs on the animals, the bacteria, and the microfauna living there are able to cause it to move. And that's the function of those cilia, to cause water to flow over the body of the animal in order for it to be able to feed. With millions of such little critters in your sand bed, there is in fact a current. Now, that current is pretty 
slow. Nevertheless, it is a current and it does bring oxygen into the deeper levels of the sand where those cilia creatures survive. As the sand gets deeper and closer to the soil, there is less and less oxygen. By the time that water reaches the soil, it has all but stopped flowing. The oxygen that has brought it, that, that has been brought down to that level has been used up. And so no oxygen remains to be able to enter the dirted portion of the deep substrate. All right, so far, so good. Now, what about anoxic? Anoxic. Lots of people are talking about anoxic. Do you know what anoxic is? It is a term used to describe an environment in which there is no free oxygen. Water, for example, that has had all of the oxygen used up is anoxic. Iron oxide is anoxic. Magnesium sulfide is anoxic. Any molecule that contains an oxygen, one or more, oxygen atoms can be said to be anoxic. However, there is no free oxygen in that level of substrate. This creates a serious problem. It is a problem that nature over the last two billion years or so has managed to solve rather beautifully. Anoxic material flows into the deep substrate along with organic matter that is decaying. Now, it is at that level because there is, for the most part, a lack of oxygen. It is not decaying by bacterial activity. It is rather putrefying. It is rotting without the benefit of bacteria. And it rots down, it putrefies uh, to about the 50% level. There's still about 50% of that organic material left that is not yet broken down. So what happens then? Aha! The magic of bacteria and the miracle of nature to solve problems steps in. Bacteria steal the oxygen atom from the oxide or oxidate, whatever it is, steals that oxygen atom from iron oxide, for example, and uses it to complete the breakdown of the organic material and to release it finally as carbon dioxide and water. What happens to that iron molecule then? Or that magnesium molecule? Or the other molecules that have, that have piled up with an oxygen atom and now have had it taken from them? in this deep, dark, smelly, old, horrible place. Well, I'm here to tell you what happens. All of the little cilia on the roots of the plants, plants have cilia too, those tiny little roots you see when you pull a plant up, those are cilia as well. Those little tiny hair roots create 
if it doesn't already exist, an anaerobic environment around them in order to allow the bacteria to pull those oxygen molecules away from those minerals and make them available to the plant cilia. <laughs> Isn't that something utterly amazing? So now we know what happens in a deep substrate in an aquifer in a water environment is very different from what happens in a terrestrial environment. Now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> By the way, while I'm here at Bending your ear. Father Fish needs your help. We need to bring this channel to a hundred thousand subscribers. And our goal is to do that by the end of this year. We cannot do it unless you bust your butt to help us. And how do you do that? Well, you've already subscribed, and you've already hit the bell. Now we need you to do one more thing. Click on that share button. You see it down there? It says share. Sharing is caring. When you share, you bring this message to people, your friends, or those who know you elsewhere than on YouTube would never otherwise know a thing about Father Fish. Share. And let's bring more friends into our community. While you're at it, join our Discord, Father Fish Show. What a joy that is. A genuine celebration of fishy chat. Come on over and jump right in. It's a place where the big fish swim. While you're at it, check out our store. What a fun place. Father.fish. Get that? www.father.fish. Ooh, what an amazing place. So, now I've told my whole story. See you next time. Love you all. Bye for now.